back again. I thought I would uh, teach you uh, some interesting, some chords, so that you can, uh, you probably know some already, and I don't know. But I do know that the C chord is usually played like with your, you point your finger on the second string, first fret, and then your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and then your ring finger on the fifth string on the third fret, something like, like this here. However, what I would like to do is teach you to, to make a little change. So this is an E, but it would be a lot better if that were a G because of the chord C, the C chord has a G in it. So it would be, be good to go ahead and, and take it and move that ring finger up to the fourth, up to the sixth string and let your little baby finger take care of the uh, fifth string in the same on the third fret. So that would be like a full C. So you've got your pointer finger on the second string first fret. You have your middle finger on the fourth string second fret. And then you have your baby finger on the fifth string third fret and you have your ring finger on the sixth string third fret. So that gives you your full, full and it gives you your G. So there's a G, a C, and an E. And that makes your full chord. Come, I'll be a dandy. That's an A minor. An A minor has your, uh, your, your pointer on the first, just like your C, on the second string, first fret. And then you have your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. And then you have your ring finger on the third string, second fret. And that's an A minor. C. The next chord is an F chord. I was taught an easy way to do the F chord by putting your, your, I'm not even sure I want to teach this to you. I think I'd rather just teach you how to bar. That The bar F is much better. It's just because with a bar F you can do a lot of other chords. You can go up and play a G just by barring it. So a bar basically means you put your finger across all the strings. That's what a bar is. And then you can play, um, other strings with the other fingers. Let me show you. With these three fingers, we're gonna play the E chord, which would be middle finger will be on the third string, first fret. The baby finger will be on the fourth string, second fret, and the ring finger is on the fifth string, second fret. So there's your E. And now what you can do is take it up one fret, and lay down your bar. Guess what that is? That's the F. So your E, F, F sharp, G. So basically these fingers, the E chord, those fingers stay in the same position and just move them up a fret, put down your bar, F, F sharp, G. flat or G sharp and then A. So that's the advantage in using a bar. Now bar, you just it takes some muscle. I mean it takes time to train the muscles in your finger to get that straight and get all the strings. You have to press down hard. At the beginning it's just a matter of practice actually. So you know I sent you that the video of that young girl uh, Carol Carolina with with a K. She's from the Ukraine and in one of her interviews she was saying how she learns one song a week and she practices, she has a teacher and he must be a good teacher because she's good, but she practices like, and I'm not suggesting that we all have time for this, but she put, she's like two, three hours a day and she just loves it. So I mean it's not even like work for her, it's something that she looks forward to. 
Um, I remember on the guitar growing up, I don't actually remember practicing, I just always played. But I'm sure I practiced, I mean, plus I got to join Tim Murtaugh and Dwight Smith and we sang at Ports of Call from 1968 and 69 and yeah, then I went on, then I went to Utah. So anyway, again, going back to kind of a, a recap, the C chord, you want to throw in the final G note with your ring finger and put your baby finger just underneath it. And then you have your first finger on the second string, first fret, and your middle finger on the fourth string, um, second fret. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, second fret. There's your C. And an A minor. Uh, oh, here's something interesting. There you go to, to go to an A minor, you keep those, keep the first two, keep your um, pointer finger and your middle finger in the same place, and then just bring your ring finger and put it underneath your middle finger. So it's just like a stum, bum, bum, bum. You only have to move, take off two fingers and lay down the one. So there's your C. Bum. And then just move your ring finger underneath your middle finger. Same fret, and there's your A minor. And then your F. And then your G. Now, I will say, the G chord, I, all, I often play it like this. With a... It'll be your pointer finger on the second, on the fourth, fifth string, second fret, your middle finger on the sixth string and the uh, third fret, and then your ring finger all the way down to the first string, third fret. So there's your, there's your, you know, I play that G a lot more than I play the bar G. It's just. play that it's just an easier it's just easier to play it if you're playing you know, a lot of chords and stuff you of course you're gonna play the, the, chord, the chord the chord um, the G and using the using the, the bar chord but like I say I'm almost always using the G here but that's just me some people don't do this they always they always bar the G here's another chord the D chord uh, that's with your, let's see, second fret. You've got your ring finger on the first string, and you've got your pointer finger on the third string, same fret. And then you put your ring finger on the third fret, second string. That's your D chord. And you can get these, you can get a list of them, get a book, or maybe even off the internet and just take a picture and print it, and it'll have all the chords for you in the positions. So. Just a bar. I almost always bar the F. In fact, let me. I always bar the F. I just. This is the old one. Well, I'm not even showing it to you. That's how you do the F. When I was a little bitty boy, just a bar the floor. We used to go down to Grandma's house every month and so. We had country ham, chicken pie, homemade butter on the bread. But the best darn thing about Grandma's house was the great big feather bed. And it was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. And it was made from the feathers of four eleven geese to go home on the clock for the tick. And it would hold eight kids and four hound dogs and a piggy we stole from the shed. I didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. If you notice, the chords that I played are the chords that I taught you. It doesn't have the E minor, uh, the A minor, but it has the D, and it has the F, and the C, and the G. And there's your second lesson. Thanks.